Welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new back with another NASCAR Thunder 2003 career mode episode We have Dover and Pocono today for this episode, which is gonna be exciting Dover's a tough track Pocono. We've been pretty good at in the past. So hopefully we can do well there again last episode at uh, Lowe's and Richmond we finished second at Richmond led most of the laps Jeff Burton got us within the last few laps. It was super close, but Lowe's, we finished 12th. Had a weird glitch where it like messed up halfway through the race the first time. We were in like 15th, but we finished 12th in this race. So we had great two races there, which was really nice. Our R&D is almost finished. After this episode, we will be finished after the two episode after the two races, I should say. We'll be done with our R&D. We could start a new one and then get some uh, chassis built for uh the new downforce we'll have on the all our chassis which is going to be great hopefully that will help us uh get faster and everything as well so almost two million dollars in the bank let's get on it over and see what we can do all right this track is super difficult without any stability help and all that but i ran a 22.25 in practice pole time is by a fantasy driver 21.9 i think it was a 9.2 something but We'll see what we can do here. Hopefully we could have a decent lap. I had to change the setup a little bit so it's a little bit more drivable because this thing is super loose at this track. It's crazy. Really, really difficult. We already got six with a one on the first lap. Wow, that's crazy. We have more speed coming to the line the second lap too. So we'll see what we can do on this second lap as long as I don't mess it up too bad. Trying to drive deep into turn three. Up the hill, getting sideways, kind of gets me turned down for the corner anyways. We can't really do that in the race. We get a one though, so we're going to be starting six. That is pretty solid for us. Welcome to Delaware for the running of the MBNA Platinum 400 at Dover International Speedway. Now, Barney, this is one of the tougher tracks that we come to. Why is that? Well, the name Monster Mile does say it all. It takes total concentration each and every lap. You'll see guys tagging the wall out of turn two and four all race long. And let me tell you, they'll feel it tomorrow morning. How about the consistency shown by Jeff Gordon? Oh, yeah. To have an average finish in the top ten for the season is mighty impressive. It can often be the difference that wins the championship. The Easy Care car comes into this race hoping to turn his success around at a speedway track. And a good finish would go a long way in boosting that team's morale. I guarantee it would make a whole lot easier to come to these racetracks. This is a much needed break for Robbie Gordon. I could tell by the look on his face this morning how happy he was. I didn't even have to ask. Great to see him starting up front for a change. Tabo Dine has a front row starting spot, it looks like, which is kind of crazy. But we'll see what we can do here. We're going to be okay on restarts. We are decent on restarts. I'm going to try and slide in front of Jeff Gordon down here. Let's see if we can keep it full throttle through the whole corner. I lifted slightly because I thought I was going to go below the actual racing surface onto the apron. I didn't want to do that. And I need to try to keep our car from getting too sideways. So I may be up the hill a lot, and we're three wide already. And they're all slow behind us now. That is nice for a couple seconds. But I feel like we may be better in a longer run here than we are I'm gonna be on the shorter run, just because I had to tighten up the car a little bit to not be super loose. But the tire wear is actually pretty good on this car overall for the setup, it seems like. Tabo Dine is already slowed up from starting second pretty sure that fancy driver still out front i want to say actually bill elliott or uh, mayfield might have gotten around him. i'm not sure oh no mayfield's under us so that may be bill elliott up there i'm not 100 percent sure but it's a red card i'm not sure if that's the uh, fancy driver or not honestly still trying to not slide down into anybody but i am super super loose here and I'm trying not to hit the wall the best of my ability. I want to get down. Okay, don't do that. Hitting somebody mid-corner is not good, and we get nailed by freaking Jimmy Johnson there because I'm out of control. This is definitely one of the hardest tracks on the schedule, I would say. It is ridiculous. So easy to hit a wall here. 
and it's so easy to go up the track and then miss the corner and then everybody gets under you and then we're three wide on the exit of these corners which is super tight to start with trying to get down under new one that I clipped this is just nuts we're probably gonna fall towards the back I would imagine at this track just because it's so difficult to keep a handle on just coming through these corners side by side is very difficult because I can't hold a consistent single line. The only reason we were fast in qualifying is because I was able to use every lane. In the race setting, it's uh, a lot harder. I'm hoping Pocono will go decent for us because we have a chassis that's going to be done at the end of this race, which would be perfect for Pocono. Because we've been pretty good there before. So I'm hoping that we can continue to be good at Pocono. Well, we've been good at Pocono one time, and ever since then, I always have high hopes for Pocono, and it never goes well. But I'm hoping this time it does, because we've been doing pretty good lately, besides this track. The last, like, three have been phenomenal for us. We've been, like, fighting in the top ten. Somebody about lost it up here. And I about, like, followed in their footsteps, basically. I am loose. I'm sorry, Bobby Labonte. All right, we're good. I was jumping the record. Yeah, oh, Bobby Labonte's on fire behind us. He's on fire. He's on fire back there. That's unfortunate. I think nobody's going to pit. I really am thinking about pitting just so I can get my damage fixed because I have a ton of damage. We'll be in the back of the pack, but I feel like I need to go get my damage fixed. It's so bad because like everywhere on the right side and the hood is even damaged. So I'm gonna go get that fixed. We're gonna get new tires and maybe we can just take like two tires at the end or something I don't know so we're gonna be at the back of the field because nobody else is gonna pit right now well I'm glad I did that pit stop under caution because we had a 22 second pit stop because the left front uh, bobbled and was about to fall off and we had a ton of damage so we'll see what we can do here starting in the back maybe we can have some speed compared to some of these guys back here I cannot get a turn holy crap it just like went up the hill so quick we're three wide for the last, which is not a great sign. But this is definitely one of the, the harder places, I would say. The Monster Mile is no joke, I would tell you that. Andretti, what the hell? Like, we actually were running fine side by side, and then he came up into us there. I feel like I didn't even come down in that corner, because I got, like, tight lifted to, like, keep in my lane so I didn't go up at the wall. And just get nailed on the side, but... You never know what will happen here. Pit stops for everybody will be starting pretty soon because they will have to make it the rest of the way. And when we pit, we'll have a short pit later because I won't need to add as much fuel. I still might take four tires, I'm assuming, just because like we're gonna be all out of whack sideways and stuff. At least it looks like we have some speed compared to some of the cars back here. Instead of uh, being side by side every single corner, like losing spots, I can like work my way forward now, which is a, a better thing for me. Cause I think I could pass people better than being passed because uh, I, I can control where I'm going to go past somebody rather than just missing my corner and then they get under me and all that. So I'm gonna try to battle forward and uh, see what pit stops do to us because they're, uh, right now I'm on fresher tires than them. That could be why I'm faster. But when they get on their fresh tires, they're all going to be flying at that point. So it's going to be interesting to see how this race plays out. All these pit stops are happening, and I was thinking about it. I'm like, what if we somehow get, like, a real lucky caution, and we're one of the only cars on the lead lap because, like, we're not going to pit for a while. Like, I feel like this could be terrible for us in the long run, but we could potentially get super lucky and get a caution somehow because that would be absolutely crazy because we're in the top 10 right now which is super awesome and there is a ton of cars a lot down we might actually go up and lead a lap here at some point i am so sideways and stuff it's crazy tires are getting worn out but uh i'm probably gonna pit here in like five to ten laps something like that there would be nobody on pit road at that time but just to see if we can lead a lap get five bonus points potentially when everybody pits and then uh we'll go down pit and then uh get four tires and then hopefully get back out there and be fine for the rest of the race and there's five bonus points right there i about lost it off turn four 
But we got our four or five bonus points now for leaving a lap, which is fantastic. We're gonna go one more lap because there's still some people on pit road right now, and then we'll pit. And because uh, I'm losing a ton of time at this point compared to everybody, because my tires are really bad, and we're all sorts of loose. I feel like I want to change the wedge back to negative 1.5 because I changed it to negative 2 when we pit. Because I thought maybe we were too tight, but I don't think that's the case. Pitting here is super difficult. I know I lose a ton of time at this track trying to slow down for pit lane, but the pit lane is super, super tight. To get into, it's so easy to miss it or spin out trying to get into it, so... We're definitely going to fall way back here, but we'll see what we fall back to. We had an okay pit stop, not terrible. But, uh, oh, yep, there goes the rest of the field, and we were basically 40th when we pitted, and now we're 42nd dead last of the, of the driving cars. But we do have the freshest tires now by, like, five laps or more, maybe almost 10 on some people. So we will see if we could drive our way back and gain some spots back at least. But the leader is right behind me, which is Jeff Gordon. And we'll see if uh, we could have some pace with him on fresh tires compared to his somewhat older tires. I doubt it because he is absolutely flying up on me and I'm already sideways and hitting the wall so that's not good and I, oh yep and that's gonna be a caution thanks Stuart you couldn't go down the track and miss me I'm literally just waiting until it takes control of me because I'm not gonna turn around in the middle of the field because it's gonna wreck everybody so we we're like the only car lap down now and I thought we were about to get t-bone there that would have been ridiculous so uh yeah I'm pretty sure we we're the only car lap down that sucks all right, we went down and pit for just fresh tires and fixing the car up some anyways. Pretty sure we're the only car I lapped down. We'll double check here when we hit the line because I was behind Jeff Gordon and stuff when we wrecked. And I don't think they lapped anybody else. So yeah, we're the only car I lapped down. We're going to finish 42nd in this race unless somebody else blows a motor. So that is uh, quite unfortunate for us in this one. All right, we got about two laps left. Leaders coming around for their white flag. I'm just staying behind all these guys. Like, I definitely could be faster than them like we are faster than a few of these guys in front of us for sure so i'm kind of disappointed i wrecked too because i think i could have chased some of them down and actually gained some spots but i'm just like checking up on these straightaways trying not to get in any bad situations to damage the car any more than it already is because i don't want to blow up this engine or chassis because it will be completely destroyed at that point luckily we're getting a new chassis repaired for this next race. So I'm probably gonna use that at Pocono. And then we need to repair a new one and then um, don't hit the wall. Of course, as we're coming around to the uh, checkered flag, I hit the wall. But uh, we're gonna have a new chassis and I need to either get a new one started to be rebuilt or maybe I'll wait one race until the downforce is done. Still got some money because we qualified very well. So we get that sponsorship money at least. And we did lead five or we did leave uh, laps for five bonus points so i'll get 42 points instead of 37 so i still got more than shane hall in this race which is nice so i'm happy i pitted when that first caution came out we were able to lead a couple laps and uh it didn't really work out for us in the end because we got wrecked but i think i could have finished top 40 maybe around Bo bodine kyle petty i don't know how far up they were on that green flag run but that's gonna hurt us in the points some because we were sitting like 18th after uh charlotte because we had a really good last two races last three races really so that's going to hurt us a little bit but we'll get on to pocono and see if we can do better and try to gain back some of those points all right we still gained like 0 0.03 million so that is nice uh we did finish that new chassis uh not build one or anything yet i need to mess with the modifications on this car select engine select our best engine because it's a big track we need as much power as possible and this one just got finished which has a lot of tire grip and tire wear that's going to be really nice and I, I want to get another chassis getting repaired and stuff but i'm going to wait until that 
uh, down force is done because that will be good. We got a engine being built and repaired currently because our inventory is getting a little low. Like these are our best two and we still have three more races we need to use with them for now. This one has really good durability and stuff. Well, actually they both do. So they're not going to go down too quick. So hopefully we don't damage it too much. We can use it uh, like next week and stuff at wherever we're going. So that will be good. And after this race, the downforce will be done on research and development. So we can look into getting a new one developed and start getting stuff uh, built and repaired for the chassis as well, which would be really nice to get some newer ones built. That would be even better. All right. Well, for qualifying, Dale Earnhardt Jr. ran a 51.7. And in practice, I ran half a second faster than him. So I have a feeling we can get pole. As long as I don't really mess up these corners too bad, I can just take it really easy down here and just try and roll the bottom of every corner, take it a little easy on entry and just get a good exit off of them. Try not to slide around too much, miss the corners too much. And I feel like we could actually do really well here, just like Richmond. So hopefully this is the hardest turn, the tunnel turn. I just have to get slowed up for enough and then get to the bottom and we're fine. But that was a really good turn too. I think we can honestly get pull on this first lap if, uh, we run turn three well enough here. Ran a little high, but I think it'll be all right. It's not too bad. Get a good run for the second lap just in case also. Yeah, I think we're actually gonna get pull on this lap. So whatever the second lap is, just even better. 51-1, that's even faster I ran in practice. And we were slow coming to the line there, which is wild. Just gotta back up these corners. Just run it nice and easy. I think the new chassis makes the uh, tire grip and stuff really nice for the car. Cause I think if I used the other one, we would have been slipping and sliding around a lot more. Cause I think there's like a good threshold around 70 to 75. And uh, this chassis has 75 on the tire grip. Dang it, wall. I'm an idiot. And we don't slide around as much. So I feel like that's what was hurting us at Dover too. Like we need some of those better chassis consistently like we need a lot of those like to just consistently run back to back and that will help us out even more when we run this lap still might be faster because we had a really uh, a lot more speed coming into it even though i smacked the wall on the back yeah it's even gonna be even faster 50.6 we were over a second faster than dale jr that's crazy MRN is live in Pennsylvania today at the Pocono Raceway for the Pocono 500. And Barney, there are a few unique twists to this 2.5 mile trioval. Well, this is one of NASCAR's toughest tracks, especially for the crews who set up these race cars. Nothing is the same in any aspect of this racetrack. Three totally different corners, three straightaways of different lengths. It's enough to drive a crew chief crazy. What a great starting position for the Easy Care car. Man, let me tell you, I got to watch him make this qualifying run, and he was a very happy man when he got out of that car. Maybe this will turn this string of bad starts around. Bobby Labonte seems to always finish in the top ten. Man, he is amazing. And what a boost towards the championship that gives him. You don't even need that many wins if you're finishing in the top ten every week. Jerry Nadeau is having some trouble in the points this year. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. see what we could do starting out front and i i have a feeling we could actually stay out front and lead a lot of laps if not all of them well maybe not all of them because we might pit later than some other people and stuff but we'll see how this goes because uh i don't think they're gonna be a second faster per lap from what they were in qualifying i'm getting up into terry labani already it's so, like this is the thing I, I do not need to be side by side in a corner that's just gonna hurt us is the main thing Try and get a run on Junior, potentially get under him. No, he's gonna block it off a little bit, but that's fine. Back off the corner, just run the bottom. Try not to get too sideways. Cause there's definitely, for some reason, some corners I think we're gonna be faster in. I don't know which ones yet, but we'll figure it out. Cause if uh, Junior actually pulls away from us, I'm gonna be kind of shocked. He is pulling away from us. What is going on? Like, we were second faster than him in qualifying. Like, how much faster do they get in the race? I'm so confused. I thought we were going to be, like, clear and just super fast up front. 
potentially could have ran away and won this race, but I can't hold the bottom because I'm driving it in too deep there just a little bit. Not gonna happen, but Junior's still pulling away from me. Like, I thought that even being a second faster than him from qualifying would have helped us out an uh, absolute ton, which it does for most of the field, it looks like. But I guess Dale Jr. is just that good this year where he is gonna win the championship, it looks like. He is just absolutely killing it. I wish I could at least let the first lap, man. That's all I really wanted. I wanted to get five bonus points. I wanted to try to get 10 bonus points. We could have lead all, if led most of the laps. That would have been nice. Jarrett's catching us now. So us being a second faster than them in qualifying, uh, second faster than second place in qualifying, they're still faster than me in the race. Like, that does not make a whole lot of sense to me. I don't understand how that works. And we were on the outside there, pushed up a little bit, see if we can try and cut back under. Sterling, that'd be nice if I can get side by side with them, make them go high. I don't think we're gonna be able to. I'm just gonna have to back off a little early, getting into the tri oval or the dog leg. Nah, I can't even remember the dead. What is that corner called right now? I cannot think for the life of me. Tunnel turn. Thank God I could think of it. That was gonna bother me for so long. But like we're still running really well like we're running fast times like we were in qualifying these guys just picked up their pace a ton i don't get it but either way we should get a really good finish out of this race it looks like and i'm hoping we could stick top 10 we're going over 200 miles an hour on the straightaway that is crazy like the front straightaway that is absolutely crazy to me and we ran like a 51 one there and we ran high in one and two. Like we caught Sterling and Jarrett an absolute ton there. Through one and two, or just through turn one. There's no two right there. It's a triangle. We only got three corners and I'm getting sideways. But the, the car feels great at this track. Like this setup feels super, super fast, which is really nice. I'm just hoping it keeps up over the long run. Hopefully I don't get two sideways and kill the rear tires like that because that's going to hurt the rear tires and that's going to hurt our long run, I feel like. I'm going to try and get Stewart just to go to my outside so I can be on the inside still. And then cut him off last second. Back it off, run the bottom here. Stewart's still going to go by us on the outside like it's nothing? Okay. They slow up a little bit off turn one, so I'm going to be side by side with them here. Somebody blew an engine. That may cause for some issues here in the tunnel turn. Oh boy, I think he's gonna be past it by the time we get through fully. Oh, nope, Dale Jarrett ran into him. That actually is, might be a caution. Nope, Dale Jarrett got a ton of damage from that though. Oh boy, that was lucky for us that uh, we weren't all the way up there at that point. Now Dale Jarrett should be slower with that, that massive front and left damage, I would think, but look at him flying back up. He's still flying up, I don't understand how. I would think he has a ton of aero damage from that, but he does not. Well, he definitely does, but he doesn't. It's not affecting him to where it slows him down a ton. It looks like I've got to slow down so much for turn one. That's where they catch me a ton. I cut. I get him on the exit for sure, but going into that corner, they catch me a ton. Hopefully, Stewart stays behind us for this tunnel turn. I had to like go a little deeper into the corner, so I got a little sideways. Try and give Jarrett the room so we don't get hooked up into the wall. I feel like turn three we're good at, but they kill me in turn three somehow still. I don't I don't get it. I felt like turn three was my best turn, but not on that lap, obviously. That was I got super sideways and stuff, and I got people all over me. I know we definitely have a lot of speed. I just don't know where we're gonna shake out to in the field. That's gonna be the interesting part. Our left rear is getting worn. That's not great. We could honestly pit at any point and we'll be fine to the end because we're just now getting halfway on fuel. So we easily can make it to the end. I might pit like next lap. Back and down. Oh boy, oh boy. All sorts of sideways. Oh my god, I thought I overcorrected it into the wall. That was scary. I literally thought I was going head on into the wall right there. That was so terrifying. I'm just so confused on how they got so much faster 
from, oh wow, they're already pitting, okay. So pit stops are starting even earlier than I was thinking of it. Okay. We're definitely, I'm thinking of pitting this next lap because we can make the rest of the way on fuel. But also my tires are just gonna be so bad towards the end, it's gonna be crazy. Maybe, maybe I wait one more lap, do it on nine coming to 10. So it's like almost halfway. Holding off Jimmy Spencer right now. Got Kurt Busch right behind us as well up there. We're definitely pulling away from these guys on the straightaway. Oh boy, yeah, I'm getting super loose into the tunnel turn. I think I'm going a little too deep into the tunnel turn now with the older tires. Tires are getting more and more worn out, so I need to back it down a little bit more. Turn three is just so flat, do not hit me. Please don't hit me. That's all I ask for. Need to try to get this draft. This fancy driver's not as fast as Bobby Labonte is. Definitely slipping a little on the clock, I can tell. Terry Labonte is going to get on our inside. I'm trying to get it turned. Yeah, I'm pitting this lap. My tires are getting too bad because I'm trying to... Oh, boy. That's not what I needed, uh, Benson. I did not need that. I'm already struggling enough being sideways. Our car still doesn't have any damage on it, which is a positive, but... We're definitely struggling tire-wise right now. Oh my goodness. Way sideways. Now the car is going to have damage on it, huh? Oh no, no damage on it? Wow, that's shocking. All right. Rusty, I'm going down here because I'm pitting. I am pitting this lap. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, maybe I'm not pitting this lap because I got people going under me. Oh boy. Nope, we're pitting this lap. It don't matter. Now we got to get it slowed down for 70. Thank goodness. Got it slowed down just enough. That was scary. Uh, I kind of want to change the wedge slightly. So, uh, maybe won't be as loose on the long run, but we're going to be at the back of the pack right now. But that's okay. We were running decent. I just don't know what happened. And of course we have a problem on the left front like why wouldn't we I hate that that's gonna kill us in the long run for these pit stops and everything dang it man we were running pretty decent and we got way too loose in that long run I don't really know what happened with all that but we're in 40 sec I think somebody blew their engine that's why these guys have not pitted yet so I should get back by Sterling no problem I'll try and slow him up a little faster nope he did not want to check up though and hopefully I can try and make some time back up on these guys on my newer tires. And the hard pit crew messing that up is gonna really hurt us in the long run, I know that. So we'll see where we cycle around to once uh, pit stops have uh, gone all the way through. There's a lot of guys on pit road right now, but I feel like we're still gonna be in like the 30s maybe because of how slow our pit stop was. That just like really sucked for us. All right, pit cycle has pretty much ended. Leader's on pit road right now, but we're not gonna catch all the way up to him anyways. He was like not that far behind us. We're in 33rd, so our pit crew sold us a good bit because uh, five seconds is probably an entire straightaway here. We could be like upwards into the mid 20s potentially, but I've been trying to take it like super easy on this run, not sliding my tires. So hopefully our tires aren't gonna be dead by the end of this run. And uh, maybe we can just not lose a ton of time at the end of the run. That's my main thing. I got Elliot Sadler catching us because he came out of pit road like a lap or two after us. So I'll see if I can hold him off and see if we can catch anybody up in front of us at all. All right, we got one lap left here. We're losing some spots. I'm hoping not to lose uh, more than one more. Try to not go further back than 35th because we, we were really fast in this one. We started dying off towards the end of this thing again with the tires. Because uh, once the tires got yellow, it's like tight. And then as soon as I get on throttle, I'm super loose. So it's like I got to really manage that. I got the 113 under us. Try to back him off some. I'm getting the wall, though. Try to back him off. All right, that'll back him off. <laughs> I didn't want to lose 35th. Oh, boy, we're overshooting that. Like, our tires just can't handle it. No, John Andretti. 
All right, we're gonna get 36. Cause like our t oh, our front tires are red now. Dang it, our tires were not red on the last run. But we started getting super loose. This half of it, I don't want to lose the Steve Parks. Go up the track. Don't hit the wall. Oh, I'm gonna lose it to the fantasy driver anyways. Dang it! Like our tires were just shot at the end of this thing. We were so fast that I think Junior won by like nearly an entire straightaway, which is crazy. But 37th, at least we were fast and could fight some people in this race. Somebody tell me how Dale Jarrett got third. Like he literally, uh, we didn't lead any laps starting first. That's sad. Uh, tell me how Dale Jarrett got third, completely nailing Jeff Purvis that we had a blown engine in the final turn and it didn't affect his car much. Jeff Gordon gets second. Junior won by over nine seconds on Gordon. That is absolutely crazy. So we finished all the way back in 37th. It didn't help our our uh, team kind of sold us. I don't know if it said the uh, time difference anywhere. No, I don't see. I wanted to see like where five seconds was compared to us. And it's funny how we we earned more money than the people around us. Like I guess maybe our sponsors and everything, which is pretty funny. Like we earned as much as Bobby Hamilton in 27th, which is kind of wild. But oh, well, let's go see where that puts us in the standings. I know we're going to fall a good bit from this episode. Next episode, we got Michigan. We almost got $2 million in the bank, but we're probably about to use a ton of that because our R&D is developed. We've done two on everything on the chassis besides drafting. We don't really need to do drafting as much. Uh, engine power, we've only done one on, which we could do engine power again. It would take 27 races. Excuse me. It would take $2 million to do it in 18. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Same with these. It would cost $2 million. Oh my goodness. Things cost so much. It's going to take so, so long. That is crazy. Like, drafting's not that bad. We could honestly do that in six races, but I don't even know if that's worth it, honestly. More downforce tire wear. We could do that in nine races for 1.5 million. That's not that bad. Or 18 races for a million. And I'll still leave us with 999,000, basically. That's not bad because I need to use money to like make more chassis and stuff. I'm going to do that. We're going to do tire wear because my tires wearing out is pretty, pretty bad. They get cooked pretty bad. And we're okay on engine power. We're not great on it, but we're okay on it for sure. Uh, and our chassis, this one's still not terrible. What would this get this one back up to? Tire grips only 70 to 74 tire wear. Uh, this one's at 100%, so that's a new one that just got repaired. Um, what do I want to do? This would get it up to 77. Could do it in a shorter amount of time. Four races, potentially. Um, I'm trying to really think here. Like, what's the best play with all this? Because I feel like doing this one's the best idea. 227 in two races i feel like four races should be fine we could deal with it for four and then i also want to get a new one built uh for ooh, that's how much money do we have in the bank we have 840 i can't use all of it so we'll use like half of it getting it done in six races rather than nine and what is our downforce gonna be 77 downforce is gonna be really nice so we'll see how all that works out that will be done in six races so we don't got much money but i needed to use some money there to try to get things rolling and next episode we got michigan and Infineon, so Sonoma. So that's going to be a tough one for sure. Then we got Daytona, Chicagoland. Daytona is going to be great for us, obviously. Michigan's going to be a tough one. We fell to 21st. So we only fell from 18th to 21st. That's honestly not that bad. So we're still doing pretty decent in the points. We're 21st overall. Junior probably still leading the points by a ton. Yeah, 182 over Jeff Gordon. I think he gained a little bit at least uh, from the first race, which was, I forgot already where the first race was. We qualified sixth. I don't a Dover uh, yeah it was Dover Gordon did good at Dover he might have won Dover so he gained some points on him there and he finished second in the second race when junior won it so junior dominated that race that was crazy so Stuart Martin Dale Jarrett round out of the top five but junior's got a comfortable lead right now in the point standings and we're nearly halfway through the season so a couple more races will be halfway through so hopefully you guys enjoyed appreciate you guys for watching as always we, we've had some pretty good runs had some really bad runs uh dover's just really tough could have been better at pocono that tire wear that's going to help us out a lot i cannot wait for that because then our tire wear should be in like 80 ish and that would be really really nice for us so hopefully that will help out a lot and hopefully we can continue to get some good races uh throughout the rest of the season next season we'll have that new tire wear for sure which will be awesome and uh, then we'll have a lot more money to try and work on some other things, hopefully. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Appreciate you guys watching as always. I'll catch you guys in the next one.